Marianne, it's almost time to kick off the new season. How much are you looking forward to getting started? Really excited to get the, the season started. It feels like it's been a really long pre-season, but it's been really useful and the, the girls have been really good in pre-season, just getting ourselves ready. And now it's within touching distance and it's just those final preparations. Of course, like you said, the preparations have been well underway for a month or so. And we've seen quite a few new faces through the door. What were the decisions surrounding those arrivals and how are you hoping for them to have an impact this season? I think we've recruited well. We've got some real good energy, some good um, good experience and some players with strong leadership around them, um, experience of the WSL, international experience. So they were the kind of targets that we were looking at um, at the end of, well, before the end of last season. I'm really delighted with who we've brought in and, and how they've just like complemented what we've got already so I think like I said there's a really good vibe the new players have settled in they're not new players anymore they're just part of the squad and I think it's important that all the attributes that we brought them in with they're showing those now on a day-to-day -day basis. And talking about getting out on the pitch there were some very impressive results in pre-season against teams from the National League up to the Women's Super League does that give you confidence going into the new season? Yeah, you look at your fixtures in pre-season and you kind of plan what you want to do. Um, you want to finish with a really tough game so that you know that that tough game really makes... Like Villa were, were very good and, you know, we know they had players away with um, still at the World Cup. But we they kind of gave us a real insight into where we needed to improve because how they moved the ball, how they moved themselves... So having that as the last game leading into that level of our play had to be high. So now we know what we're capable of and know what we can, how we can solve problems on the pitch. So yeah, it's been a really good pre-season. We've built into it really well. Um, had some really um, you know, different challenges within the games, but now we're ready for the first league game. You talk about what this squad is capable of. There's quite a bit of expectation already for this season. Obviously, securing sixth last year and now having bolstered your side with some very strong players, like you say. What are your ambitions for the season, sort of both on and off the pitch? I think this league is probably the most consistently competitive league because anyone can beat anybody. Everybody's recruited. You know, you look at who Charlton have recruited, Birmingham have recruited, London City have recruited as well. Sheffield United have gone full time. Um, Sunderland have gone to a hybrid model. So the league is consistently competitive. There's no game where you think, oh, that that's that'll be, you know, that should be three points or that could be no points. So I think us, in terms of our expectations, we know what we want to do. We know what we want to achieve. But we have to be consistent with our play and we have to make sure that our levels of play are at the highest they can be because every other club has got the same ambition as us. So it's a team at the end of the season that has delivered day, week in, week out in games, but day in, day out on the training pitch because we know what we're aspiring for. We've got our, we've got our, our goal within the squad and to do that, we've got to be at our highest levels every week. And to kick things off, it's a, an away trip to Lewis, followed by a return to St Mary's against Blackburn. What are you hoping for from those two opening games? Obviously, you said nothing's a given in this league. Yeah, I think, you know, it's like we said, it's been a long pre-season. So the first game against Lewis away is, is a really good game for us to go to. It's a, you know, it's, Although it's away from home, we know that we'll have travelling support there. But on the pitch, we've just got to really deliver what we've been delivering in training and play at a level, you know, get into the game nice and quick, get into a, the levels of what we expect of ourselves in that game and then sort of manage the game from there. I think the following week when we play Blackburn, again, it's a different test. Um, it's a, They've recruited well, and but we're back at St Mary's, we're back at our home and we really want to make that like the home ground, our fortress and, you know, get the fans in, get them loud, get them making lots of plenty of noise but also us being prepared to be calm in, in our game and not getting um, over emotional that we're where we are and playing, you know, playing at the stadium. But we've got good experience. We've played pre-season there. We played last season there. So that shouldn't be a problem. But I think what's really important for the first two league games is to get into a really good start and be ready to, to start quick in both games and be prepared to, like I said, just keep the levels that we've been like playing in pre-season but also in training on a day-to-day -day basis. 
And finally, you've mentioned the noise that our fans bring traveling away and, and obviously at St. Mary's. They've been a massive part of the momentum and the upward trajectory that we've seen within your side in the last few years. What would be your message to them ahead of the season kickoff? I think for the fans that have always followed us to keep bringing the noise. And I think they're great advocates of us when they go out to other Saints fans. I think for me, we want to double our, our, um, our fan base, certainly this year, and just get more people in at St Mary's and you know, more people travelling to the games. We're on such a, you know, women's, the women's game's on such a crest of a wave after the, after the World Cup. Why not come and support your local team as well as the Lionesses and really give our girls this club, you know, we're part of this club, it's, a, it's, a, it's all part of the same family. Why not come and support us and just really boost the numbers of fans that are coming in? So we're thankful and very appreciative of the fans that have always been with us. And now we want to see a new, a new wave of fans coming in to support us and bringing even more noise.